I would like to invite Sarah Cheng, uh, Senior Manager of the China, China Practice with Australian Business uh, Solutions Group, a subsidiary of the New South Wales Business Chamber. New South Wales farmers signed a memorandum of understanding with the New South Wales Business Chamber in 2015, and this has seen New South Wales farmers embark on projects aiming to uh, demystify and break down the obstacles our members experience when exploring exporting options. Sarah joins us to share with you one of these projects, the Export Growth China Program. Please make welcome, Sarah. Uh, good morning, everyone. It's a great pleasure to present on Export Growth China program. It's a program run by New South Wales Business Chamber for uh, New South Wales Farmers Association members. So uh, you may say my title is also the senior manager of New South Wales Business Chamber and trading as Austrian Business Chamber for the global market. Uh, actually, Austrian Business Consulting and Solution Group is a commercial brand we use. Uh, for New South Wales Business Chamber, sorry, and the New South Wales Business Chamber uh, to provide uh, assistance for companies to grow their business domestically and uh, in the global market. So, a little bit background information on China market. Actually, China is the number one uh, consumer market for food and beverage, and of course, with 1.4 billion uh, population, and it's no surprise. Uh, but also, China is the biggest importer of agricultural products in 2015. Um, imported food contributed uh, close to 11% of China's uh, total food consumption, which is a good news for global food exporters and agricultural uh, product exporters. And then that imported food market sector uh, grew on fi uh, by 15% last year. So it's a fast-growing sector. And who do we sell these uh, products to in China? We sell to the emerging and fast-growing middle class and super rich. So currently, there are over 80 million households in China which are categorized as uh, um, middle class. And those households have an, an average um, uh, income of over 20,000 US dollars per year or roughly 30,000 Australian dollars a year. Um, and it's actually, in uh, 10 years' time, we will see over 350 million uh, households in China has that income. So that is a fast-growing market segment. And let's have a bit closer look, see what this middle class in China are looking for from Australia. You probably all have heard about this, that uh, Woolies uh, and Coles sold out our dairy baby formula products to Chinese uh, tourists and Chinese individuals. And also Chinese love our lobsters, oysters, they love our cherries, they love our honey, uh, edible oils like macadamia nuts, um, chocolate. Uh, one of my clients actually export a, a chocolate-based uh, uh, on, uh, on soya bean. So all this prepacked food, fresh produce, seafood, meat, premium pr fruits um, are all uh, welcome and very popular and uh, in high demand in the China market. And also we are very lucky because Chinese perceive Australia uh, to be a nitro green uh, place and uh, we, pro we are the supplier uh, of premium food products in the global market. Actually, we are uh, the premium food uh, supplier in the global market. So compared with our global counterparts, uh, in even in Europe and America, we have this uh, good image in China and advanced uh, position in China to sell agricultural products and food and beverage to the China market. So I'm actually uh, quite happy to present our Export Growth China program. We talk about the market potential in China, and you may say, okay, there's good potential in China, and how can I sell into China? Is there any program, and who can help me to sell into China? So Export Growth uh, China program is run by New South Wales Business Chamber in partnership with New South Wales Farmers Association under our memorandum of, of understanding. So it's a six-month program. Uh, when uh, you join the program, uh, we will showcase your products uh, in our showroom in Shanghai. Uh, we have a tailor-made showroom uh, just 
uh, promoting uh, Australian premium food and beverage and agriculture products to the China market. Um, and also we will pro, uh, conduct very intensive and extensive online and offline marketing and promotion for your brand and your products and your company. And then business match you with Chinese buyers. They're not individual buyers. They're importers, wholesalers, <coughs> retail chains, uh, um, agents. Uh, and online uh, platforms. So also the program gave Austrian exporters a huge endorsement. When an, Austra an Austrian exporter goes to China, it's more like a small fish in a big sea. And in, compared with a lot of counterparts in American Europe, we are perceived to be a premium food supplier, but we don't have big brands, and we don't have that many financial resources as lots of large uh, corporates have uh, um, from some other uh, places around the world. And so in that case, the government endorsement is very important. That helps you to promote your brand and give you credibility to the market in China. And also the program can help you to build the brand uh, through online and offline channels. And then uh, most important, uh, is to find your genuine Chinese business partners. I think some of you, if you, I'm not sure how many of you have exported. Can you please put up your hands if you currently export to the global market? Yeah, a few. And then I guess probably you have been to these overseas trade fairs. When you go to exhibit at an overseas trade fair, you uh, will probably see, okay, the, the market really need to buy products, and you come back with 200 business cards. But under there, you still don't know who is who, who is a genuine buyer, are they what they claim to be, and who is really capable and committed to work with you, and still like follow up and communicate language issue, culture barrier. It takes you a long time. Eventually, you figure out, okay, out of these 200 business cards, probably only two companies I can work with. But that is a very lengthy process, and that uh, during that long process, lots of hot leads have uh, 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 tend to grow. Uh, turn the code. So this program actually saves you all this time and money and efforts and help you to screen and qualify the leads from China and pass you the final leads as you, and but take a shorter time because our team on the ground in China and our team here in Sydney uh, do the job for you. So this is showroom in Shanghai. It is located in Shanghai Mart. Shanghai Mart has over 8,000 people working uh, in the building every day. So this is, that is a place uh, for importers, agents, distributors, and wholesalers, and retail chain managers go to if they want to look for uh, brands from overseas. And so there are Italian product center, Japanese center, of course, Australian showroom, so uh, quite some industry bodies and government agencies set up their showroom in that building. Um, and this is our showroom in Shanghai, uh, launched by uh, New South Wales uh, Premier Mike Baird last year. And also Tim Cahill was in our showroom to help our exporters uh, promote their products to the China market. So we get celebrities, uh, top political leaders, and business leaders in the showroom from time to time to promote uh, program participants' products to the global market. Sorry, to the China market. And also, when you join the program, you have a dedicated China uh, mini China web uh, website or a China dedicated China web page. Um, our website, China website, uh, uh, which is AustrianBusinessChamber.com, uh, and for China market. So we put lots of financial resources and human resources to promote this website and attract online traffic to visit your web page on this website. So the website is operated under the brand Australian Business Chamber. So that is our global branding. Uh, and also we uh, have a public account or uh, on the largest uh, uh, China social media, WeChat. This is our WeChat QR code. If you we use WeChat, you can just put up your phone and uh, scan it now. And we have lots of followers, business followers in China, uh, food and beverage and agriculture products, importers and wholesalers uh, who are our WeChat account followers. So we put uh, regular posts to promote program participants' products and offering to the China market through WeChat as well. So here are the, some pictures of the marketing events we run in China. We do, we do receptions in the showroom. We do road shows across uh, China. Uh, we uh, present at major business functions in China. 
And also we have partnerships with all these major online e-platforms in China. And uh, I believe you probably have heard some of those already. Uh, some uh, like comprehensive online platforms, some are more industry focused. For example, eHardia is the number one food and beverage online platforms. Shunfen uh, Haitao is a major cross-border e-commerce platform for agricultural products. Uh, uh, Kofco is the largest online and offline food and beverage distributor in China and, and uh, is also our uh, partner in China. JD.com is a major direct purchasing online platform in China, which we communicate very closely. Um, also, we have very extensive retail chain uh, co cooperation with all these major retail chains in China. Uh, Carrefour has, is, the, of course, a French brand. They have offices in China um, and retail chains in China. Yonghui is a major fresh produce retail chain in China. Uh, Renrele is another major consumer goods re uh, retail chain in China. RT Mart is more like a uh, uh, say which one, like, I think it's more like Costco here, uh, but focus more on food and beverage. So they are major uh, offline retail chains, but also they have online platforms. We work very closely with these offline retail chains, and some of program participants' products are sold in these retail chains already through the program. And also we exhibit at major trade shows in China, food and beverage, and largest Asia food and beverage show is SEAL, which was uh, in May each year, and we exhibit at SEAL. Uh, and the next biggest one is Food Hotel China uh, in Shanghai, and Food and Drink uh, exhibition in Fuzhou in October, sorry, in October, November. And we exhibit all, at all these major food and beverage uh, and uh, one liquor shows in China. So your products will be showcased and exhibited at all these shows, and you can either join our team in China uh, and to present your product at the show, or our team work as your local uh, um, underground uh, team and exhibit and identify leads on your behalf in China. So Export Growth China program uh, attracts a very extensive media coverage both here in Australia and in China. Which great, uh, give another uh, give another layer of credibility to our program participants. So, um, so the program was launched uh, last uh, August in China. Uh, the showroom was launched last August in China, and in the past 11 months, we have run seven roadshow workshops with the China Council for the Promotion of Their Trade, uh, or CCPIT, which is Australia equivalent. It's a government agency, top government agency for internal trade in China. We exhibited um, at 10 trade fairs in China. We run three receptions. Um, major receptions for business leaders in China. Uh, and also we build a very strong um, database of over 6,500 Chinese importers, wholesalers, retail, uh, retail chains, not retailers, but retail chains in China. Uh, and then also we have the network in partnership with over 100 industry bodies in China. That 100 uh, uh, industry association not, was not built in the, actually in the past 11 years. Sorry, 11 months. It was built in, in the past 20 years because our team has been working in the front line with Australian companies to help them enter and expand in the China market in the past 20 years. So we have already passed 160 qualified leads, very solid buyer leads uh, to program participants and secured $4 million sales for the participants. So they are just the first kind of order with uh, participants and then lots of such orders will are repeat orders, they are ongoing orders. So it's very, very uh, good positive results. Um, I would like to take one of the program participants' journey as an example. Uh, Noah Springwater is a, um, a bottled water manufacturer. They started their backyard operation uh, like seven, uh, six, seven years ago in Paris. And then before they joined the program, they never exported to anywhere in the world. Uh, they only uh, sell, sold their products in some domestic retail chains here in Australia. And then the, we started the program last uh, um, 
August, but actually we started uh, working with some companies and prepare them for China market from last August, sorry, April. And Noah Spring of Water um, started working with us last uh, April. And then uh, we took the products at exhibitions. We, they joined us on our road show across, across China. And then they secured their first, we secured their first order uh, end of last year. And, and this month they're shipping um, uh, the repeat order, four 40 feet containers of bottled water to China. So officially now they're an exporter and actually are quite Broad exporter of uh, to uh, sell their products uh, to over and get the products sold in over 350 retail uh, outlets in, across China. So here are some pictures of the marketing activities. The pro, this uh, Nova Spring Water participated. So uh, our trade minister uh, Stewart Air uh, was in the showroom promoting Nova Spring Water. Um, so, and this is just some pictures of a uh, program participants sending contract with Chinese buyers. I won't go through these testimonials. Um, and when you work on China and with us on the program, uh, we actually have a very experienced team working with you. So as I said, the team has been working uh, in the front line, uh, hand in hand with Australian companies uh, in the past 20 years, we are the strategic partner of Ministry of Commerce. We are the strategic partner of China Council for the Promotion of New Trade, and uh, uh, this. And also, we are the partner of uh, with Austrade and and also also other chambers across Australia, um, and the new Export Growth China Program. And especially, we are very proud that uh, we send memorandum of, of understanding with New South Wales Farmers Association, and now we can uh, offer this program uh, to. Uh, all members of New South Wales Farmers Association. So today, actually, one of our team member, uh, uh, Edis uh, Bosque, uh, also joined us here today. Edis, can you just put up your hands? Edis, the lady in right at the back of the room. So uh, you're welcome to talk to me or talk to Edis or talk to any of my team members. Uh, if you have any question in regard to Export Growth China program, or if you have any questions say, or needs for China market. So this is my contact details. And also we have Export Growth China brochure uh, on the registration desk at the back of the room. So you all come to pick the uh, picture after the session. So I won't stay long um, and just stand uh, between you and the lunch, but I wish you good success uh, and enjoy the rest of the conference. And, uh, and also we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you again to New South Wales Farm Association. Thanks. Thank you very much, Sarah.